Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Today, we are going to be doing a little different video, and I want to draw some attention to my wife's channel because, as you know, she has created her own YouTube channel, and she does beautiful watercolor paintings. And I thought, you know what, why not try my own shot at a watercolor painting in a video game and going to do a little something different. I know this isn't a World of Warcraft video, but I thought it'd be fun to promote her channel and uh, see what I could do and try to compete with her a little bit <laughs> with my own painting here. Probably not going to do as well because uh, I don't know nothing about watercolor painting. But what I'm playing right now is called Simpler Times. It's a demo on Steam that you can download for free. And they have this full watercolor paint kit over here that you can actually draw on and interact with. So I was messing around a little bit with it before I got started, so I'll be honest. But uh, I had a little bit of practice, but we're gonna see what we can draw here today and we're gonna see how it turns out. So let's begin. We're gonna take our giant brush here and we're gonna dip it in the blue. And this is actually going to be our base color for our sky. And we're just gonna make a nice, beautiful painting here of a uh, beautiful sky and maybe a sun and clouds and just your typical sixth grade <laughs> when you were a kid drawing and uh, we're gonna see what we can do here so we're gonna fill in the top and we're gonna go down a little more ways because we do need some room for our other stuff on the bottom here so we're gonna make a little line of where we want to curve it out and the sky and we're going to smooth it out a little more. So we're gonna just slightly brush as we go along here. I do love the soundtrack in this game. It's pretty beautiful as you paint. <laughs> All right, so we did that. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a sun. So we're gonna grab some yellow here. And we're gonna make our sun in the left side of the corner here. So we're gonna draw this out. We're gonna draw this for the rays. And just do something simple like that. And that looks good already. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our middle brush here and we're gonna fill in some color for our sun here. Don't wanna go too far over, but we're just gonna smooth this out here. And we're gonna fill in our sun a little bit more. I guess we're gonna give it some more color. So let's actually grab some orange. Uh, let's do brighter orange because the sun does kind of reflect a little bit of orange, right? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slowly brush down here. Brush down here some more. And then we're just gonna kind of fill in here a little bit of our sun color because the sun does kind of have some color here well, it's not just yellow and what we're going to do is we're going to now fill in our field which is going to be our grass on the bottom here so we're going to take the middle brush we're going to dip it in green and that will be our base for our hill so what we're going to do is put it way down here we're just going to draw a line straight across there we go. And we need to fill in some dirt in the bottom here. So we're actually gonna dip this in brown. And we're gonna fill in the bottom here and this is gonna act as our soil or dirt at the bottom of our scene. And we're gonna see if we could fill this in here. All right, there we go. You know, that's looking pretty good, right? I mean, you got your sun, you got our sky. We got our blank space in the back here. And you know what? Actually, we probably should fill in more. So we're gonna take our middle brush and we're gonna keep going down with the blue because we do need to fill in the sky in the background, right? Can't have this all just white here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in here and we're just gonna keep painting slightly this way and we're gonna keep going this way. And there we go. We're going to fill in. Maybe I should start a uh, Nathan painting channel, huh? That'd be kind of good. 
And you know what? It's okay. We're going to paint over our green a little bit here, but we can fill it in more later. So we're going to bring our sky all the way down here. There we go. And make sure it's all filled in nice and neatly here. No white spots. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our middle brush again. We're going to dip it in the green and we're just going to paint straight over that blue so we can get our grass back. And that looks really nice, actually. Look at that. We're just going to come way up here and just slightly cross it. There we go. That looks really good so far. And our music stopped, so we need to actually go start it again. There we go. We can only have one soundtrack, unfortunately. Because if you try to play the other soundtrack, you have to actually buy the game. So we're just going to continue on here. Now, what do we need in this scene? Well, we do need some clouds. So let's actually grab our little brush. And let's take some white here and let's paint some clouds. So what we're just going to do is just do some little twirls here. There we go. And we're going to do maybe another little cloud here. Look at that. Mm, I am so artistic. <laughs> All right. And then what we're going to do is actually we're going to take this small brush again. We're going to dip it in the brown and we're going to paint a nice little tree over here or actually kind of in the middle here, right? We kind of want it to stick out. So let's go up across and then back down. And there we go. We kind of need to fill in the bottom here. We're just going to paint straight up. There we go. Fill it in our tree here. Looking really good, actually. All right. And then what we're going to do, actually, we're going to grab this again. And we're going to give this tree some life. So we're going to fill in the top here. There we go. And what we're going to do is fill in the middle. There we go. And we're going to give it some bushes around the edge here. So we're going to fill this in. There we go. And then what we can do is we can actually take the little brush again. And we can maybe put some out or put some apples on here. Why not? So we'll just put some dots here. And we'll make it an apple tree. So we're going to put little spots here of red. There we go. Look at that. Nice. We got our apple tree. So far, we're looking pretty good. All right. What else does our scene need? Well, you know what? Well, we can now it's too big. Let's go. I like sticking with our little brush. It helps us out. We need a little shrubbery, don't we? So let's put some bushes here. So what we can do is make a little bush here. There we go. And how about one over here as well? Maybe a little bigger. And uh, what we can do is actually we can fill in these clouds a little more. So let's actually continue with our little brush. And let's just start to fill these clouds in slowly here. There we go. I have to say, this is actually turning out pretty nice, huh? Not too bad. I'm not an artist whatsoever, but I thought this wasn't too bad nice to have a little relaxing paint session why not there we go and you know what what we're gonna do because the clouds aren't always formed we're gonna put little holes in them so we'll do like here There we go. And now we kind of got our floating cloud effect here. <laughs> and what else do we want here? Do we want to fill in the bushes? No, I think that looks okay. What else can we draw? 
Oh, we could draw some birds in the sky. So let's actually grab our little brush again. And what color do we want to make the birds? Let's do my favorite, which is red. And I love red. So we're going to do here. There we go. And you know, we can even do all different kind of color birds. We can do uh, red. We can do orange up here, maybe. There we go. Could also maybe do a purple bird. Why not? It's our scene. We could do what we want. Look at that. <laughs> that looks pretty good, huh? All right. And then what else are we going to do here? We can also do maybe a little scene here. Have, uh, we got our sun. We got our birds. We got our clouds. We also have our bushes and our tree with apples on it. What else do we want to draw? We can draw. Let's see. We don't want to draw it raining because we're having a beautiful sunny day. How about a critter? Maybe like a squirrel or something. Well, let's go over here. Brown. And let's... How are we going to draw a squirrel? We're probably going to butcher this, but let's give it a little face right here. How about a body? With some legs. And a poofy little tail on the back here. Looking more like a skunk than a squirrel, huh? <laughs> so let's do this. Let's give it some eyes. Let's do white for the eyes. Wow, look at that. Beautiful squirrel right there. And we gotta give its tail some color, right? So let's go over here and uh, we already have it with brown. Let's give it a little bit of black stripes here, maybe. I don't know what that is, but that's my squirrel. So I thought the squirrel turned out pretty good. <laughs> I think I butchered it. But uh, that's a pretty nice little painting. And then at the end here, what we need to do is we need to sign at the bottom. So let's sign with our name. So we're just going to put Nathan. Nathan, there we go. We signed our signature. And look at that. It actually turned out pretty good. I thought so. Maybe I'll do one of these a week and see what we can paint <laughs> pretty awful with this but ah, looks okay so all right guys well that's my painting video uh wanted to see if i could encourage if you guys haven't yet go check out my wife's channel she is doing watercolor art over there she does beautiful paintings and she also does blog videos and recording our daily life adventures so i'll link her channel in the uh, description in the comment section below and i will see you all back in azeroth starting Thursday. So take care.